Y'all ever heard that saying, one man's trash is another man's treasure? Well, the Ravens are taking that this offseason and running with it because everything that the Raiders are throwing out, the Ravens are scavenging and picking up and like, hey, we could use it on our end. Because first they did it with Demarcus Robinson, and he looks to be a big part of what the Ravens do this year. And now they're expected to do the same thing uh, with Kenyon Drake. But let's talk about why. Yeah, this feels like a dream. So YouTube, team keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And the Baltimore Ravens, they are bringing in Kenyon Drake uh, for a visit. And the expectation is that they do end up signing him. But if the Ravens have so many running backs already, why would they be signing one Kenyon Drake? Well, we are here to talk about the possible reasons why. Uh, but before we get into that, I got to give a special shout out to the newest uh, team Keep It Clean patrons, uh, Coach J and Emery P. Uh, I appreciate the both of y'all. Thank y'all for supporting. Um, thank you just to the whole Team Keep It Clean because we are very close to 57,000 subscribers. Um, and so we're still a very, very small channel, but y'all support in a very, very big way. Uh, so I appreciate y'all a lot, like for real. So thank you for what y'all do. Um, if anybody would like to become a Team Keep It Clean patron, you're not obligated to. It's okay. And the same thing with becoming a channel member. Uh, you can go to patreon.com slash engravenvids and to become a channel member, you can click the join button right next to the subscribe button. Uh, but anyway, I, I love y'all regardless whether you decide you want to do those things or not. So, somebody who uh, is probably going to decide they want to bring on Ken and Drake is the Baltimore Ravens. But why? What would be the reasons? What would be the point? You got a J.K. Dobbins, you got a Mike Davis, you got a Tyler Beatty, you got a Justice Hill. Why Kenyon Drake too? Well, this is where possible roster manipulation and maneuvering and finding all the little loopholes and whatnot, this is where that could possibly come into play. Um, first, uh, let's talk about J.K. Dobbins. Um, J.K. Dobbins, I know going into last year, uh, it was expected that he was going to be the guy at running back, the primary guy at running back. Um, but then in that third preseason game on the first drive, uh, he ended up getting hurt. Um, his season ended before it really even got started. But something that J.K. Dobbins was expected to do, uh, not only be uh, the Ravens lead back, but he was expected uh, to get more involved in the passing game. Um, and that all came to a halt. Uh, and then along with Gus Edwards, too, Justice Hill, too, because all three of our running backs all got hurt. So that's why they had to bring on Le'Veon Bell, uh, Devontae Freeman, and Latavius Murray, each at the very last second. Um, and they tried to do what they did, and it just it wasn't pretty, obviously. Um, but with J.K. Dobbins uh, this year, um, he, he came back. He got activated off the pup list. Um, and he had been doing a lot of individual drills. There have been some days that he was giving off. So because the Ravens, they have been sort of easing him back in um, the uh, the recovery specialist, um, the injury recovery specialist. I, I want to say Adrian Dixon, but I, I don't remember his name for sure, uh, who the Ravens brought on from the Titans medical staff. Um, he is supposed to be helping the Ravens with their recovery process. Uh, and we know that with the Titans last year, they had a whole lot of guys injured, too. But they were able to bring a lot of their guys back. Uh, and those guys remain healthy. Now, with Derrick Henry, I don't know if he was all that healthy in the playoffs. Because he just did not look himself. But anyway, um, so with him, with his process, what it seems to be is that they, re they really ease guys back in. I mean, we saw with Ronnie Stanley, uh, he was activated off the, the pup list. But yesterday, he didn't even practice. So Harbaugh did mention how they, they have a plan with Ronnie Stanley, uh, and that makes sense. You know, not just going to throw him right in the fire like that right away, uh, you, but you want to ease him into the process. Uh, so it seems that they're doing that same thing with J.K. Dobbins this year. Um, Harbaugh did talk about how with J.K. Dobbins, week one, it's still 
up in the air. They'll see how he's looking, how he's feeling and whatnot. And that's something that Harbaugh talked about specifically with Tyus Bowser because we know he's on uh, the PUP list. So he'll miss the first four weeks of the season. And uh, Harbaugh talked about how Tyus Bowser, he's looked good. He's looked good. He's walking good and whatnot. But it's also about how he feels. Um, so it's important that both of those are good because you can look good, but sometimes you may not feel good. Um, so it's important that, again, he's on point. And again, they do not rush people. So seems like Ravens are taking that approach. So with J.K. Dobbins, um, he is somebody that uh, a couple of things. Th this could go a couple of ways. Now, one, he could remain on the roster and they could continue to ease him back in. He's not going to take on the whole workload as RB1. Um, and and it, it, he's going to he's expected to be eased in over the course of the uh, really of the year. Um, but at the same time, another thing, if he's really not ready, like if J.K. Dobbins is really not a full go, then what the Ravens could do with King and Drake, uh, they could bring J.K. Dobbins on the initial 53 man roster and then they could put him on injured reserve. Now, with injured reserve, um, you can I think that they they changed it because before it used to be you have to miss a minimum of three games. But I think they changed it. I, I got to get back to y'all on that. But if he goes on injured reserve, then um, if it is still the three games, and it might be, uh, but he would have to miss those three games at least, and then he could come back whenever after that. So that would just give them more time and, and flexibility with a J.K. Dobbins to where um, they wouldn't have to carry him on the roster initially, and, and they could really, like, he could really be ready for when he's back because it's a possibility that right now he may not be all the way ready. So then, boom, you insert King and Drake, who is obviously ready, who is obviously healthy, and he's ready to go. Uh, so that's one possibility with the reasons on why they may be bringing in Kenny and Drake uh, with J.K. Dobbins. Uh, another reason is because of maybe uh, Mike Davis, even though I don't, I don't see it. I've seen some people say they feel like Mike Davis hasn't looked so good. I feel like he's looked good. Maybe we're looking at it differently, but I feel like Mike Davis has looked good. And Mike Davis has been that power back, um, that back to where he's he going to hold it down for power-wise until Gus Edwards comes back. Um, and who knows when Gus Edwards will be back. He's out, again, at least for the first four games right now. So we'll see. So, but, yeah, I just I feel like Mike Davis has been looking just fine to me. Um, but I know others see it a different way. And, of course, y'all y'all let me know how y'all see Mike Davis. Maybe I'm maybe there's something I'm missing. I don't know. Um, but anyway, then there's Tyler Beatty. When you think about him and, and what the Ravens want to do right now. Maybe they may be like, you know what, Tyler Beatty, you're a young guy, you're a rookie. Uh, this is a very important season for us. And it's no offense to you, but we want to go in the direction of having a veteran on the squad. We want to have somebody that has a lot of experience in the NFL because we are really primed for something serious this year. We're trying to make a big run. And with Tyler Beatty, you know what? You're a rookie, so you ain't been there yet. We, we, we know you got some ability, but we'll just put you on a practice squad for now. So that could be a possibility with him. Um, and then there's Justice Hill. With Justice Hill, they may be like, you know what, Justice Hill, thanks, but no thanks. So we'll, we'll put you on a practice squad. Um, or they could possibly release him, and Kenyon Drake could be that little quicker back for the Ravens. Um, and again, a, a veteran with a lot more experience than Justice Hill. So it could be any of those things. Or, hey, it may be something that we didn't even talk about. But with King and Drake, what I see from him, because um, I was watching him early this morning when it became like apparent that the Ravens were bringing him in and all the reports start flying that the Ravens were going to bring him in for a visit and they were expected to sign him. I was like, man, what, what does he do good? What does he do great? Um, what does he maybe struggle with? But King and Drake... Um, I think one of the best attributes about him uh, is him catching passes out of the backfield because he's a running back, but he catches the ball like a wide receiver. And we know like running backs nowadays, they're asked to do a lot more. Um, if you're a running back, you have a lot more responsibility than you used to, uh, especially in today's NFL, especially since it is such a passing league, as we all know, and we are all constantly reminded of. Um, and he he makes it look effortless. He, he catches the ball so naturally out of the backfield. Um, you can send him on a wheel route. Like it's, this guy is like a little receiver playing uh, playing running back. 
Um, so that is something that I would expect the Ravens to use him on a lot, uh, especially like on third downs and stuff. Uh, maybe get him involved in some screen passes. The Ravens could incorporate the screen. Hey, who knows? Maybe. Um, but with Ken Drake, he also got a real nice acceleration. He got a real nice burst to him. Um, he he he, and he got that 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 just quick takeoff, man. And that can make such a, a big difference. Um, and and just making a play, because you know, with the Ravens, like with the Ravens run game, uh, it's like you you do need to be patient. But at the same time, when you find that hole, when you find that gap, it's like, boom, you got to shoot. You got to take off. Uh, their, their running game is very, uh, very complex. Um, so the decision making, your decision making needs to be at an all time high. It needs to be on point and it needs to be on cue. Uh, so I think Kenyon Drake, I think he'll fit right in. Um, once they do sign him, uh, again, if they do sign, it's expected that they sign him. Um, but he'll just he'll need to get up to speed pretty quick. And I think for him, it'll be one of those things to where uh, it's a lot of on-the-job training because today is August 30th, um, so the, the initial roster has to be set by today at 4 p.m. Um, and then uh, I think af after that, uh, he should probably be signed maybe, after, maybe today after 4 p.m. or tomorrow on August 31st. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. But then uh, so he'll have about, yeah, about 11 days to really get ramped up because, yeah, the season starts on September 11th. So he'll, he'll have 11 days to really get caught up with everything, to really get uh, in the flow of things and whatnot. And so and I'm sure Ravens going to do what they do uh, to get him up to speed. Um, but I, I think that he will end up being uh, a significant part of what they do. I think they'll certainly use him a lot, uh, have him out there. Uh, Mike Davis um, and whoever the, the third running back and fourth running back ends up being whether J.K. Dobbins is on the roster or if he's not. Um, and then if J.K. Dobbins is not on the roster, then I would expect them to keep uh, both Tyler Beatty and Justice Hill um, just for like special teams uh, and just for backup running backs uh, for that rotation. Um, but we'll see how everything goes. But anyway, team, keep it clean. Appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Uh, and with the expectation that the Ravens are signing Kenyon Drake, one of the all running backs are going to have to unfortunately say, I'm out. Yeah, this feels like a dream. And you know just what I mean. You see my boy, he like gotta made it, how to made it. Boy, he's a fan and he like the Ravens. And you know just what I mean. You two team keep it clean. You see my boy. Shout out to Graven.